Hi, I'm Chef Julia Dunaway, and I just got through making these delicious whole grain pancakes, and they're also fluffy, and I can't wait to show you how I made them. I'm using seasonal fruit. Everything about these is just absolutely delicious. So to make the pancakes, it's not very complicated, but some key ingredients help making them fluffy. So we're going to start with, this is white whole wheat flour, which is lighter than regular old whole wheat flour. And then we have some almond flour, about a fourth of a cup, and that was a cup of whole wheat flour. I have a tablespoon of ground flax seed. And then I have two tablespoons of, uh, no, sorry, one tablespoon of arrowroot powder, arrowroot starch. I have two tablespoons of baking powder, fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So those are all the dry ingredients. Let me get the rest of this out of my cup here. And then always whisk your dry, whisk your dry ingredients together to make sure they're completely combined. And it's this combination of dry ingredients. I think there's something about the arrowroot powder and the flax meal when combined with the liquids, turn this into a fluffy pancake batter. So after everything is thoroughly mixed, then we start adding the wet ingredients. And I have a couple of tablespoons of date syrup. You could also use maple syrup, but I've tried to replace all forms of sugar with dates just because dates are more nutritious and kind of make me less crave less sugar and then I'm going to put about a cup of almond milk in here we can add more if we need to if the batter needs to be adjusted and a teaspoon of vanilla and then we're not going to whisk it now we have to just mix it up whisking it will tend to form form too many of the glutens so we just want to fold in the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients to make our batter and then we can cook it so with pancake batter you don't want to over mix it you see there's still some lumps in here we want it like that because if we mix it and mix it and mix it the gluten will form and the batter will be tough and that's why sometimes people make pancakes and they're rubbery we want them to be fluffy so now it's ready to cook so the next step will be actually cooking the pancakes I've got the griddle heated to about 325, and there's no oil on it or anything. It doesn't really require that. I use this griddle all the time, and I never put any oil on it, and it doesn't stick. And I'm making these, they're more like about a third of a cup of batter, and I'm using this half cup measuring cup, but I'm not filling it all the way up. I'm kind of filling it to about a third of a cup. And you hear it sizzle. You want it to sizzle. You can't put your pancake batter on a cold griddle or else it will just stick. So make sure your griddle is hot and you hear a little bit of a sizzle. And then we just have to be patient and wait. I spread it out a tiny bit. We just have to be patient and wait for them to cook. We don't want to turn them too soon because if you've made pancakes before and turn them too soon, you know they fall apart. So we're just going to patiently let them cook until bubbles form on the top, and then we'll flip them over. Flipping them over, and they're turning out really nicely, but I want you to see how tall they are. They're nice and fluffy, and I have a little extra spatula. This one I kind of wrinkled up a little bit, but it'll still taste fine. So I've reduced the heat to about 300. So what I want wanted you to see about these pancakes is they're light and fluffy and they're whole grain they have almond flour white whole wheat flour little flax meal but I love the fact that they're fluffy and light because a lot of times with the plant-based pancakes without um, the dairy and the eggs and the usual stuff we used to use the pancakes would be really dense and chewy and people would say oh I don't really like pancakes that are plant-based they don't taste that good but these taste really good, and they'll taste even better when we put the toppings on here in just a minute. My beautiful pancakes are all stacked up here, and I put some fruit on my plate. I have some seasonal fruit, like fresh peaches from the farmer's market, strawberries, some blueberries, 
And I love this plain cashew yogurt. Something about that to me is really decadent since I don't use butter, so I put some yogurt on top. And I love these chopped almonds, so I'm gonna add some chopped almonds. Because I like the crunch. And then, last but not least, I'm gonna add the maple syrup. <laughs> These fluffy whole wheat pancakes are so good. They're a plant-based, no oil. They're full of flavor, and the nicest thing about them is they're so light. And I love serving them with seasonal fruit like peaches. Here in Texas are in season right now. Strawberries, and we always can have blueberries. I've put maple syrup on here. And now all that's left is to taste them. Mm, so good. There's maple syrup here on my plate. A little bit of my plain cashew yogurt. Mm. That almonds and the fruit and syrup is so good. I hope you make this dish.